as you have seen in the intro, amazing stuff is happening with this add-on. This add-on is called RBD Lab. What does it do? It actually adds a particle system and the fracture. These kind of things are available in Blender by default, but we can't do these approaches quick as this add-on. This add-on just works and we will see that. So this is a quick start because I just purchased the add-on and uh, quite tried uh, every button in it. Uh, there are quite few things that I didn't uh, get into, but I think that this will be enough for this tutorial or video. You can try it yourself. You can just work with any object as we can see that we will use the default queue for the first time in a while <laughs> because uh, of course there are some people that use the default queue, but um, I am one of these. So first thing, you have the subdivision, okay? You can apply subdivision. Uh, as you can see and apply it so you can have few uh, vertices you can paint on so what you can paint is actually the particle system that can fracture through uh, the object so you can start painting that way for example okay in the paint you can also start annotation if you want to have the annotation to do the work you can go for the particles or annotation pencil and uh, both ways works you can do it with the annotation pencil by start annotation okay you can break your uh, object however you like okay if you have like glass tutorial that you can look back uh, for uh, andrew price tutorial it was like uh, hell long <laughs> so you will see how easy it is now to make impressive um, fracture animations to see the particles, we can end the annotation for now and scatter. So you can do both and you can do just one of these, whatever you like. If you increase this, you will find that we have more detail. If you want to, to fracture uh, this part so well, uh, you can do that. But I prefer just to keep it low because Blender crashed <laughs> because of the the massive amount i actually made it 100 before and it was okay if we do fracture hopefully nothing happens you'll find that it actually does the fracture from the middle the smaller chunks are in the middle if you can notice because i used the own particles okay this is the uh, result and i think it's cool okay you don't have to do anything you can just look at this and admire okay <laughs> Now, let's keep things interesting. Now it created a collection with the name of the object and also it renamed automatically all the fracture objects with the uh, suffix, we can call it suffix of cell uh, and the main name or base name is cube, which is the object that we have fractured. And if we did this start explode, it looks interesting, right? It has really interesting and impressive start. If you do the slider, it will do like a small simulation. I actually looking forward <laughs> to do that with my architectural stuff, like uh, exploded diagram. I, I, I really want something like this as an add-on. It will be impressive, but it is for this purpose. So I may try to have uh, the target collection to be anything else and it tries this thing. It's it's really amazing. I really like it. Okay, so this is just a visualization. It is not simulation yet. We, we will get into the interesting part now. It will get crazy. If you click like, well, let's start again. This button looks a little bit uh, weird, but what it does, it deletes whatever you did above okay so you can click it and you will have your cube back returned it actually doesn't remove the cube uh, period to your um, output collection you can just remove it if you want but um, it, it 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 is like undo you know so uh, you need to d redo whatever we have done so let's uh, try annotation this time and the fracture okay Oh, sorry. We will have to select the cube again. Fracture. Okay, and it will do the fracture according to 
the as you can see that it has different uh, pattern uh, according to the fracture uh, annotation pencils that we have done uh, of course it will look like a cracked glass more than a concrete but it, that will be okay we have this and we have that if you don't like the explosion you can do a simulation for the explosion like like this and if you didn't like it you can well let's start again and boom it will remove everything you have done so let's keep it on particle and fracture it again for the purpose of uh, because it's faster for some reason okay really impressive i really love this add-on but let's go for this rigged bodies part okay you don't touch anything except for the start you select the object that you are going to fracture that's it okay so you have concrete and you have a lot of things but these things are in blender but you look how easy it is now i have created a rigged body okay all these objects are rigged bodies they fall when i press play okay that's amazing okay but we need a ground right so we will go to add ground okay so you will have this breakage impressive really nice so you have this ground and you can select whatever the friction factor and everything is converted automatically really impressive but let's go to chipping i actually tried to do anything about it but select the small chunks i i kept increasing here it is a and that happened selected six okay this is because you have like uh, i don't know let's let's try it because i didn't uh see what is going on this is chipping i think it's for wood but for some reason you have to convert it to chipping i i don't understand what will happen but let's try it out hmm um so okay you can increase this and select more smaller uh objects and this will be the chipping object for some reason so you can convert it to chipping and uh, that uh i i don't see any difference it's just rig rigged bodies but maybe this does anything to the glue constraints that we will go for this and we will have interesting stuff happening so you have glow strengths which is actually the constraint that we have also everything is in blender but it is not that easy uh, look how he created some interesting stuff in just a few minutes because of explaining but you can literally do this in seconds so um anyway you have it here if we go to objects you will find it here connect okay but it is quite you know convoluting i tried it a lot of times and it doesn't give me uh, the effect that we will see right now okay so we will go back to the start and add glue constraint let's see what will happen mm, look there are some chunks that are a little bit glued together but we need more interesting look let's increase the glue and update it let's see here it is now it is more interesting than before we have some um, you know if we just remove the uh, the wireframe and all that stuff you will find that we have a perfect cube that only breaks when it uh, not, not actually because it breaks before it hits the ground we have chipping I think this is the chipping I, I see it really clear uh, that the chipping is very obvious and maybe it has something to do with the weights i don't have an idea but it seems to be because they are broken too easily okay so it has more physical properties and it has the ease of control of uh, blender capabilities a really impressive add-on chapeau for the people who did this add-on actually okay so you can remove it if you don't like it okay and it will break entirely but i really encourage you to do the glow constraint because it gives more realism to the fracture like there are some chunks that are not broken yet and all that stuff this part 
mm, I don't get it like a ball or something because it's spherical it has something to do uh, with with that and it's actually a mesh not a helper an actual helper okay so this is recording if I pressed it it does that okay so um, let's play nothing happens <laughs> that is why I don't understand what does it do but it seems like that it it is like a bullet or something um maybe the people who will try this add-on after i explain what does it do maybe they do better than me because i am really beginner in vfx i'm an architect anyway so please i'm sorry for anything missing uh this is rigged body you can increase the resolution by adding some iterations or some steps but this will occur of course of having a slower simulation before we get into the particle part because this is the most impressive part in this add-on so let's make a bake first you have to bake the rigged body okay you can of course play with the settings so you can have your bake uh, correctly uh, forget about this uh, crazy sphere it didn't do anything but it seems to have a function but I don't understand it yet okay it's called acetone but if you saw the intro you will have something similar to what I have done but maybe this is not the case okay this is the extremely interesting part for me actually because this takes like hundred of years to do uh, if we got to the point that this breaks, this where the breakage occurs from my perspective. I want smoke and stuff. So we will go for dippers. This is too easy. You will stop at frame 13, in my case, and emit from the current frame. And see the magic. Let's go from start. Okay, look at this small chunks. Magic. Really impressive. Of course, it it does uh, in an in a very automatic way, uh, very convincing dippers. If you have larger chunks, it doesn't create like too much dippers, but you can increase it anyway. You can make it like two hundred. <laughs> it will create this, but this is not even logical. Look, <laughs> that is too much. Okay, uh, sorry for the voices that I'm doing, but anyway. So you have like 200 chunks from just five or three chunks. So 15, okay, it was 15 uh, debris. What is the plural of debris? Okay, so here it is. Debris, I think. Debris is the singular? Whatever, I'm not native. So let's go for the next step. We said that our explosion or whatever this symbol um, fracture is uh, it starts from 13 okay so we will emit dust from here and the same for smoke okay and this is the interesting part also you can have like smoke coming out from the broken parts only so it gives you the most realistic looking <sighs> look how impressive look at the dust it creates dust that has physical properties like molecular but not so much like molecular, but it's okay. You can notice that we have little hollows here. These hollows, we will use it for the smoke simulation, okay? So uh, how we can utilize that? Let's add a mesh with a box, okay? Or a cube, another cube, okay? But it is not default right at this time, okay? And we will create a domain so we can see the smoke because the smoke is ready. Uh, the physical properties of it it is automatically can be set here you can do it and it is really amazing you can create uh, almost anything uh, uh, you have smoke density and you have lots of things you can uh, control from here but i think this is concerning the particle system not the physical properties maybe they can add it uh, afterwards i don't know but uh, if you selected any one of these debris or anything you will have a particle system then you have physical properties added of course <laughs> and this is the beauty of this uh, kind of thing so let's add a domain and the domain has to be the smallest uh, size possible because you know 
physical simulations for the fluids are quite intensive. My processor is not bad. Uh, of course, there is better, but um, you know, it, it's intensive anyway. So you have to keep it as small as possible. So let's see what will happen. Let's create a domain, fluid, and keep it a domain, okay? Uh, but uh, right off the bat, you can have your smoke simulation um, from here. Look, it does really appear, but we have a problem because it, <laughs> it floats to the ceiling. I want like just a, just a, a little puff, uh, just for this simulation. You, you can do whatever you like, but you can do explosion, you can do fire, whatever. I'm not so specialist, but... This add-on drives me crazy. So you can keep it just 64 for the sake of detail, you know. Uh, but it will be slower, of course. <laughs> Look at this beauty. You can do that, but I prefer to do the dissolve. That uh, this smoke comes out, but it uh, disappears. Let's keep it just for 50 frames, and it disappears. It doesn't do anything, it's just... Uh, go down by gravity or whatever. You can add force fields. You are the VFX specialist. I'm just an architect here. And you can... Okay. You will have your smoke in this viewport, which is the modeling viewport, which is... Um, okay, fluffy. <laughs> we just don't need this look. We need dense smoke, like... Uh. So we will go for something for Eevee. Okay? Because Eevee is, um, you know... Uh, just faster in terms of uh, visualization and it is quite uh, convincing it is not bad so we will turn on the volumetrics by volumetric shadows to give more convincing look and the tile size will be two pixels this is the closest thing we can get uh, for a good resolution uh, simulation okay but right off the bat we don't have anything we don't have any smoke so you can bring this by new and uh, just remove the principled BSDF and they go for volume and they go for volume principled or principled volume or whatever you'll call it. And you will have your smoke. Great. Now we will increase the density. Yeah. <laughs> it has a lot of dust. Dust? Okay, let's keep it yellow. You can keep it whatever you like. Any color. Quite impressive, right? So you can download this add-on from Blender Market. And it's for $20. Okay, I purchased it. And I really encourage the creators. Bravo. Really impressive. I was enjoying the uh, creation of such uh, simulations. It's a quite nice toy for me because I don't use VFX. And here is a tutorial for it. Until you find a, another tutorial talking about acetone. Because <laughs> acetone... I don't understand what acetone is, but this visualization, oh yeah!